So I want to say one final thing about this. It's like one more thing. After we recorded the finale, I listened to the final boss track. I'm like, it's like the start. I'm like, yeah, 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 it's pretty good, pretty good. Like this part, like the build up is pretty good, but then it becomes very basic. But then for some reason, like the the main theme starts playing. I'm such a sucker for that. Well, of course, it's obviously like, the best part suddenly of the song. it's like, oh my god, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, but here's the real hot take. This music is really good, but it doesn't compare to the first phase. That music no, is legitimately no, no, the best music in the game. No, that's wrong. By a long shot, I think, actually. No. I'll cut through those words. First phase music is so much, so cool. Yeah, yeah I like the well, second phase It's definitely phase like better. the one part of the first phase that has a lot of layers. Which is like one of the, our complaints about the music. Like most of the music sounds basic and doesn't have a lot of layers, but the first phase of the final boss really does. And yeah, it's and so that's good. why that's I thought the most impressive song in the game for me personally because I was like, oh shit. I'm back. Fire guy, what is the best song in Dark Fables? I'm placing this one. No, it's the one before this. I just said so. Oh. That and the Watch uh, music. Yeah. I still love that one. I mean, that's no, the no, most no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yes. Okay, no, it's yeah, like, so it's funny. When we were problem. recording, this part was played, and now suddenly I'm like, wait, this is the main theme! It was so good! I love this! I love it when games do that! It's like, victorious? But now, victorious, it's really... Yes! It's the victorious rendition of the main theme! And I'm such a sucker for that! Dude, yeah. one of the biggest reasons I fucking love Kirby music. They always do it and they always nail it! <laughs> and here, or like, the rhythm... Down. Yes, it's like the first part is like, oh, this is serious. Fuck this, this final boss. This is crazy. But then this victorious part starts playing, and it's so good. Mwah. Bruh. Hey, this is good. This is really good. No, it's like the one part when there's like so many layers on it. It's really good. This one. Yeah. For some reason, uh, this part, especially like with these drums like going in and out and stuff, for some reason it reminds me of the Ganondorf fight in Wind Waker. Yeah, it's very Zelda. Yeah, I can see it. But it, I think it also uses like a lot of um, samples Similar that are used in, in like yeah. uh, N64 Zeldas. Oh yeah, probably. And maybe Wind Waker as well. Did you like the fact the final boss uses the artifacts against you? Well, how about you wait two more weeks until you see the, the video? <laughs> A f finale episode is, I think, 67, if you want to know. Yeah, this is a good part. Yes. And it just keeps adding on top yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. A lot greater and grander. To me, this is so obviously the best music. No, it's so good, good, but it, it doesn't beat the, the rendition of the main theme, Lenny. Eh. You can't beat that, dude! <laughs> also, for people, oh. I still don't think the shadowy blobby figure you see through the telescope or the livescope, I don't think it's still... I, I still don't think it's that frightening. It's like, sure, it's that thing, but it's just a blob in the camera view. It's like... Oh, it might it invade it? us, but it won't. Uh, right. it, w it was a lot scarier when it popped up in the house. Oh, for yes. sure. And that music started playing. It's yes, like, and like, because the first one is like forced, and it's like suddenly... It's like... The shock of it appearing. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, th those first that first video is gonna be really good. It's pretty good. Oh, it's I can't good. wait. I still oh, think sir? the best story the game told was Leaf story. Oh, no, yeah. Well, but that's not. A but like area wise, like... the the giant slayer was still yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This game just nails a lot of amazing things. Yeah, amazing. like I said, yeah, I... does Super Guards better than Paper Mario? Yeah. Yes, Lodi? Oh, I was just to say that, yeah, the final area is really good because, like, it's super creepy and scary, but the fact that they actually they saved it for the last turn to really show you how dangerous yeah. yes, crazy it is, like, it was really good. And I, I like yeah. how it was, how I was like, oh man, what is this jump in difficulty? But then when you get to the layered area, it's like, oh, it's, it's easier again? So it's more like to actually scare you, like, what? Yeah. Wow, these guys really are work. dangerous. It really works. It really does work. Like, the game's even like, yeah, yeah run away. Question, but I'm like, no, no, no. I guess this is also confirmation that I keep I keep my party at 9 HP. Yep. Yeah. Dude, I, I got a comment recently on like the, the video where we talk about it when we fight Monsieur Scarlet. And, somebody, and it was like, well, it's not a Paper Mario game, so I so play it however you want, but I think you should upgrade HP. Oh, it's like, play it or you shouldn't you play it as a Paper Mario game because it's not a Paper Mario game, which is true. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a Paper Mario game, it's it's a lot more to me. Yeah. Dang. It's like, I think you're undermining how well this game does things differently oh, from cool. Paper Mario by saying, oh, it's the best Paper Mario game. It's but anyway, the um, Paper Mario. Yeah, it's the Paper Mario you've been waiting for. Um, yeah. What was I even gonna say? I don't know. But I need to be prepared for something, so I'm gonna take for now. So, have fun, everyone. Maybe it's gonna be dead in like five seconds. But goodbye, friends. What was I gonna say? I don't remember. Oh, I love deleting Mathiva. It's pretty epic. <laughs> yes, someone asked about your opinion on Mathiva, but I think it's pretty clear. No, yeah. but the thing is, like, of course, for the playthrough, I I over exaggerate. Yeah, the of whole course, thing. we're playing it up. She's she's coming. she's a character you just love to hate. Yeah, that's the thing. Mathiva's the fucking great because yes. she's really Mathiva's fun a great to character. Shit on. Yeah, she's fun to shit on. Mm -hmm. Like, Mathiva is probably one of my favorite characters, because I just love to hate her. Yeah, and just the fact that it feels like it's, as the game continues on, also, like, Zasp just gets becomes more and more of a sim, and gets more <laughs> desperate, it. it's like, god With damn it, side dude. quest? And I was like, you give his doll back, and, we, and I was like, oh wait, it's Zasp? Yeah. <laughs> and then suddenly you realize as well. And also, like, just now, in, like, in the like the second fight against them where he's like I'm not doing this just just to protect her although it's no, a very big reason I'm not doing this just for Mathiva but it's a pretty big reason yeah but it's pretty big reason. it's like god damn it dude don't you have any self respect maybe she's in here oh no okay nope you'd think that's where she would be Now, I really need to listen to some more of the soundtrack. Yeah, the Ultimax about was pretty good. Yeah, I haven't checked that one out. Again, because it also has more layers. I feel like the more tracks he made, well, of course, the better he got, and the more layers he had. <laughs> oh, cool. Apparently, the devs are making more games. That's cool. I can't wait to see what they do next. Should it be a sequel, or should it be well, another bug Fable well, type they game, say They might eventually make a sequel to this game with the same or a different cast after they do another game. Makes sense. Yeah, because I feel like the thing I be... don't like is when a dev gets popular with a game and then it's like, oh, we need to make this game all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if they make a new Bug Fable game, like, I think they should just have new, like, new three playable characters and just have the original team. Oh, yeah, of like, course. Like, super boss and, like... Yeah, exactly. Really that that makes so much sense to do that. And have, like, community favorite strats used by them. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> so like, Wait, danger, so poison, V. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, dude, just imagine you're fight, you're fighting them, and then suddenly you just see Kabu get poisoned. You're like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's kind of like when 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 Zasp uh, when Mathiver relayed Zasp, it's like such a cool moment because like wow yeah. they're they're like an explorer team they do what we do. Yeah, <laughs> and it was it was a really cool uh, mechanic. Oh god, yeah, make a sequel game where you play as Tangerine. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, think that could be a we side never... game. We never and it's just it. his eternal war against big rocks. They wants to push out of the way. <laughs> He's like, oh. Yeah, but honestly, now that they have they have success and like a lot of people are excited for what they do. Yeah, I I'm think happy. this game did really well for them. Yeah. I don't know if it did, like, by say or really well. It did, it did it did very well. Yeah. But it's like it, it it's sort of like I don't see that many playthroughs of this on YouTube, honestly. Yeah, there's a couple. True. And like, even the, the music tracks aren't listened to that much on YouTube, I've noticed. So it's, it's definitely popular, especially with the Paper Mario crowd. But outside of that, I don't think it reached uh, that big of an audience. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Bug fails 2D April Fool's joke. No. Fighter. <laughs> and by if you're interested oh, okay. in more Paper Mario games, well, Paper Mario games, esque games, the developer of A Short Hike is actually working on a Paper Mario esque game. <laughs> yeah, it looks really cool. It's like, very it, pretty. It, it's visually. cool because the dialogue in this game also has like a lot of a lot of flavor. And, yeah, like, it's attitude. very charming. It's very charming. So it's, it can be fun. It's gonna it's gonna be. Yeah, it could be good. Yeah, there's I don't like know how several... long it's gonna be, how big it's gonna be, but yeah. I mean, it's funny how there's now there's like several Paper Mario like games being developed at the same time. <laughs> I think if you just you take the mechanics of Paper Mario, like the basic mechanics, basically this game, what it took was like the badges and I guess the level up system, and that's sort of it. That's yeah. the main Paper Mario thing it took. Which, man, it just expanded on it, honestly. Like, it does so many things that Paper Mario doesn't. Honestly. It just, it's lucky that the Paper Mario <laughs> fan base is so thirsty for more Paper Mario. That they Mario jumped on it. That they jumped <laughs> on it, yes. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know, man. It's like Leaf's story is like on par with Super Paper Mario. <laughs> yeah. And gameplay-wise, it's it does a lot of things better than T2ID, but I think they're on the same level of gameplay. Yeah, but they like both better, excel at different things. Yes. I think. In, in T2ID, for example, I love the stage mechanics. Oh yeah, for they're sure. They're dumb and RNG based, sure, but I love them. They're just they're just really fun. It's like, oh, you have a crowd, and that just I mean, Origami King did that too, but it didn't do it well. Oh, barely. Um, and that's like, yeah. So yeah, for Origami King, it's like the game, the dialogue was fun, the bosses were great. But the rest of the game was fine. So yeah, this was better than, than Origami King. Yeah, Origami King is a very fun but also very flawed game. This is a, then Bug Fable is a really fun game with yeah, a couple of flaws. few flaws, but like it's so it's still so good. It's like I say this during the credits, but like the reason people feel like I, I tend to be harsh on this game. Is because I'm honestly looking at it as a triple A game because that's what it feels like. It's so like it's it's a quality game. So of course when there's a thing I think it could have done better, I'm gonna mention that. It's not hating on the game. I don't think and somebody's it's... gonna find a point where I say that, but I don't think I ever said, wow, that's bad. 
Yeah, it's just it's just wanting the game to be the best it could possibly be. Mm -hmm. Like this is a thing I can use as an example. Like you can see a lot of the uh, sprite art or like just the, the game the, the art of the characters was drawn like with a free hand. Like you can see Kabu's lines on his belly are like shaky. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I if if maybe some people find that charming, but I think I mean it it doesn't. I don't know. I don't think it does. It's like a couple of tweaks could have made this. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, Hollow Knight, Lenny. I wanted to ask you that. Yeah. Is, was that that uh, studio's first game? Yes. Yeah. Perfect example. Hollow Knight for first yeah. game is just like. First game by a team of three people. It's just like, what? It's just, it's just how? It's it's like it's like come on, like, like what did they put in the water in Australia? It's like, it's, <laughs> it's 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 fucking insane. Like, oh uh, sure sure, this game like graphics and whatever aren't aren't that good, but like in Hollow Knight, I don't think there's anything I can say like, ah oh, maybe that could have been done better. Nope. It's just like perfection from their first time yeah, well, making I mean, game. There's some tiny things, but it's just like, sure, oh, but like I think that's any the game, game has a little bit of a slow start before you get more power-ups and the game opens up more. But like, it's such a small thing to complain about. The rest of the game is just fucking perfection. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy. Like that thing when I played it, I hadn't been that obsessed with the game. Probably like since Breath of the Wild, I guess. Like it's it's in my top ten favorite games of all time, without a question. Yeah, it's and I so always good. I always use Hollow Knight as an example of like when I see stu uh, when I see um, developers like uh, Game Freak, for example, oh and they boy. just put in I don't want to say put in minimal work, but they rush things because they have to, mm -hmm. and they cut corners because they have to. It's like, oh, the, the Sword and Shield, best-selling game on the Switch. And then I'm like, all these tiny, small developers and teams, like, for example, the Hollow Knight team, put in so much effort, mm -hmm. and, like, they care about what they make. Mm -hmm. And then I just get, get sort of angry when there's, when there's developers, like, the way they treat Pokemon. Yeah. Also, just, like, they don't deserve all the like, recognition. Yeah, and there's another point that I saw in chat. Also, it's like Hollow Knight. Like, I'd pay sixty bucks for Hollow Knight, yes. and yet they ask like fifteen. Yeah. And they look at Pokemon, and it's like, yeah. It's like I had the the thing when we played Pokemon for the channel Sword. Uh, I think I legitimately had fun. Up until episode, I'm gonna say 10 to 15 ish, and after then the like the uh, how do you say that the the the, 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 the we're starting to show. Tell, uh -oh. tell the <laughs> the cracks. The cracks were starting to show, um, and then like at, when the ending starts happening and. <laughs> And the entire <laughs> plot section is just a fever dream. <laughs> like, I... That's the thing, like, I still love... I loved love... it, but not for the reason they wanted me to love it. Yeah, that's the thing. I loved playing the game, but for all the wrong reasons, you mm -hmm. know? It's like... I know, I feel like like that was... Like, I still loved a lot of the recent Pokemon games, but it's only because I played, played it with you. Mm -hmm. Like, if I just played it on my own, I wouldn't be as positive about those games as I sometimes am now. Like, for example... There's an example I thought about. Actually, today I thought about that. It's like in Sun and Moon. Like, we think Sun and Moon are pretty good. We love love the games. But for example, Kukui as a character is kind of boring. He doesn't really do much. He's kind of boring. But I still love him. But the only reason I love him is just because when we played it, we just went four all the time. Yeah. It's dumb stuff like that that make me like the game. But it's like it's really I like on how more than how because of the character I gave him. Yeah, it's true. 
You so that's the thing, like, I still want to play, like, I still want to play the new Pokemon games, but only if I can play with you, because on my own it won't be as fun. No, it's true. I mean, Cuckoo is hot, and he has a hot wife. That is a hot wife. I, I like her, although yeah, I... Let's get back, to, her back to that. What's her name again? Uh... She's, uh, she's from the dream game. Yeah. No, oh, and well. the worst thing about like for the like, okay, for example, when the main theme in Bug Fable starts playing in the final boss, I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, 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 that's amazing. But like in Pokemon, it's like, whoa, that's cool. Like all, a lot of the music is very good. Like Hop's elite theme is like, oh, that's really cool. And then the the funky salsa part starts oh, playing. Dude, yeah. It's amazing, but it's like something is missing. And the, the thing that's missing is me caring about what's happening and caring about the characters. Mm. That's the, like, the biggest thing missing from, for, uh, from Pokemon for me. And, and the problem is like they do tiny things where it's like, oh, it, it seems like they're trying, but then they do, but then it's like, but then it's like the moment I say, like, oh, they're starting to do something interesting. Then I'm like, all right, guys, we did it. We can stop now. Mm. Yeah, it's like the when when we've talked about this so much, but when Rose like the battle starts, and like looks down to Pokemon, and the, the Pokeball clutches, and he it. clutches it. It's like, like it's it it's supposed that... to be a good moment. It could have been, but it's just not because there's nothing there. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, I don't know, man. Video games. Video games, man. Yeah, hell yeah, would I support these developers more than Game Freak? Okay, fat, fat, fat guy, real question, real question. It's a new year. I can guarantee that within, I would say... Well... Say no remakes. Within the next few months, the next two months, there's gonna be a Pokemon Direct where they're gonna announce probably Sinnoh remakes. Yeah. Like, it seems really likely. Do you have any interest in playing those games? <sighs> it's tough because I want to say yes, but then I like, okay, it's uh, it's like I want to stop supporting them, but like, it's still Pokemon. Like, I can play the older games, I guess. I, for me, then... at this point, I am perfectly safe in admitting that I'm just a crack addict, and I can't go without Pokemon games. <laughs> Yeah. Even though I know that they're shitty, but it's like, but it's Pokemon, yeah. and it sucks, and I hate myself for thinking like that. But no, I mean, it's like right least... now I say that I am not interested in them remaking Diamond and Pearl because it's probably going to be a bad remake. But at the same time, by the time the game come actually comes out, I know that there's a pretty big chance that I'll be like, yeah, whatever, and I'll buy them. Yeah, like at least the DLC we didn't fall for. Oh yeah, that's like, I legitimately didn't did not want to play. Uh, yeah. sword and the thing is, or shield anymore. And the thing is, like then when they came out, I just looked up gameplay and stuff, and it's like, oh wow, like the new wild areas actually look way cooler than what we got in the main game, and that just yeah. made me more upset and made me not want to give them the money even more. Dude, somebody's like, Gen 4 will looks worse. You know, it just might <laughs> because sprites are so much more charming. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. If, if I didn't have so many other games to play in my backlog and stuff, I really want to play a Pokemon game, like either Platinum or like Black White Two or something. Mm -hmm. By the way, this track sounds like uh uh uh. Like a very forceful, angry tango. Mm -hmm. Like, God, this music is just so good. Mm -hmm. I feel like it, it was originally made pretty late in development, but then they happened to use it during chapter two because you fight wasps. It's really fun because we're playing through him, yeah, it's whatever, and then that fight, I'm like, wait, what's going on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Weird thing about Black and White 2 is I haven't replayed it, even though it's a game. 
I played for the longest because there's just so much content. Yeah, like it, it feels weird for me to say that. Well, like without a question, like yeah, those are the best Pokemon games when I've only played them once. So I really want to play them again, but it's just like that game is like the perfect package of what a Pokemon game should be. Kirsty, why am I even here? Well, it's a Paper Mario game. How about you yeah. shut up, tutorial bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Stop telling me to beat the boss the easy way. Finally, what's your favorite Gen 5 Pokemon? Can I look at a list? Sure. I mean, for me, it's Scrafty. I love Scrafty. Oh, well, so cool. I won't say like Dwebble, maybe. I like Dwebble. I love the name <laughs> Dwebble. Dwebble. Let me look at him. Ah, so good. I hope this is a full list. In the fourth gen four, we make have less content than the originals. Oh, you know that's gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, and then oh, they I, add the rest I, of the content via pale paid DLC. Oh, I never want to think about that. But the, the fact that the chance is very real. I hate it. Yeah. Say I like Joltik, but that's just because I like cute things. Oh, it is cute. Um... <laughs> Pikachu is in, in the chat. Mine is probably Simisir because I'm contrarian. Well, at least you admit it. Yeah. Like, those monkeys are... Weird. The first stages are cute, but then all of the no, no, um, no. Simisage is cool. really cool. Yeah. He's cool, but the others look so dopey and kind of dumb. But yeah, not in cute for way. Gen like, five, like I, I say Oh, go ahead. What? I was saying oh, so like, Yeah. Yeah. It's like Garboder is also one of my favorites, just because. He looks so incredibly stupid and dumb, but in a way that I find absolutely adorable and hilarious. I love him. Trubbish and Garboda are awesome. Mm -hmm. I washed my bong and you guys are still here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's on, pretty dude. dank, I mean, dude. Bark's not here anymore. Also, tell me, how much worse would Bug Fables have been if I was in the corner all the time? Yeah, actually. Better. Like, I do that for streams, just because that's become a thing. But for playthroughs, I never or rarely do. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think it's just annoying to set it up every time as well. Yeah. 63% worse. Well, now you can't tell how rich I am. <laughs> also, Chandler is really sick too. It's one of my favorite ghost types. Yes. I think Litwick line is, is pretty clever and cute and dope. And, yeah. And... I think my only problem with a lot of the Pokemon in black and white is that some of them evolve so late i'm like why did you do that ah uh, they gave a reason and i guess i understand but well I, I understand it but it but the problem is that that only works in the function of black and white the moment they're in other games like oh if you for example you can find a wild litwick like early on in the game that's cool you have to keep that litwick until it's like it's level 40 something or whatever I still don't think it works, because in black and white you end the game at like level 50, where a lot yeah. of Pokemon still haven't evolved. Yeah. Like, when you get Hydreigon, it's like 68 or something? Like, 64. Jesus Christ. Or 65. I don't know. Yeah, this is post-game. We're probably gonna record more tomorrow. Yeah, I was gonna ask Cappy if he wanted to join for post-game. Oh. But then we have to do some exciting stuff, because technically I should also revisit every single screen in the game. 
because we've missed like two books, um, three crystal berries, and one discovery. It's like, I have to get them. Discovery, and you can sort of figure out where it is. It's oh. in the Termite Kingdom. Oh, okay. Because, like, the Termite Kingdom is a discovery, then you get in there, Wait. look at the statue, and then there's an open one, and there's the arcade, so this is mm -hmm. in the kingdom. Yeah. Also, I, yes, wait, I think we I... did get the book in the library. I know, we saw I... the comments. I don't totally make you want to see something funny, and then they got it. I think I might know which discovery you're missing, and it's a real easy one to miss. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll find it because the beeper will tell us. Yeah. It's sort of, is, is it like the rock in the Far Grasslands? Yeah, the rock. There's it's a rock you have to stand like, on, and that's a discovery. It's kind of like that, but you have to like stand in the, the specific place, and okay. then you'll be able to activate it. Oh shit, there he is. <laughs> Wait a second. Did we ever f f visit the Mantis? I think we just stopped recording, right? Lenny? Yeah, we stopped recording, I think. I'm gonna check if he has an exclamation point. He probably That'll does. be something excited. Exciting to check out. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yes, okay. Good, 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 good. <laughs> I knew, because I needed another, another defense exchange, because I only have one. Is maybe that? It's kind of weird for a post-game badge, but we'll see. Oh, you were so close to the discovery? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I saw a lot of comments being like, oh, they missed the discovery. Yeah, I know. The right. Kingdom. Any yeah, plan for harder mode? Probably not. I am super duper interested in the randomized badges stuff. Imagine finding life cast in chapter like, one. Oh my god. <laughs> Berserker in chapter one. Uh, that that's a thing I would totally do. Maybe for a stream. Randomizers is the best. Faggot has been spoiled many th times over in the comments. Yes, truth. Yeah, that's true. Randomized Luigi's challenge. There's actually a Luigi's challenge in this game, and I like how that's become the term. That promo oh, really? mode. Promo, promo coined that. And now it's just a term in the Paper Mario fan base. So it's like, yeah, we're playing Bug Fables, Luigi's Challenge. It's actually, the code you put in is Ruigi. <laughs> so it's obviously <laughs> nice. a thing. Nice. Speculation on what the Deadlanders could be. I think we should we said it in in the video, which you'll see. We? Well, mutated things. Oh yeah, they or look they could like... be aliens, I guess. No, don't we some like weird. Something killed humans, something. either nuclear warfare slash explosion or sh some shit, and those things are mutated remnants of that, or they're just aliens, and aliens killed humans. <laughs> the usual post-apocalypse stuff. Yes. <laughs> Yo, the stream has been done for an hour. Yeah. We've just been yeah, talking. Yeah, just start talking about random shit. <laughs> but it's yeah, nice. It's like, there, I'm, I'm gonna talk about some badges that I'm like, oh dude, that would work so well in Paper Mario. Also, by the way, I don't think you should ever upgrade HP because you have so many HP pluses, and you can, you can work yeah. with that just fine. Yeah. But like, oh, these... someone in the chat got Lifesteal and Berserk as their first badges in hard mode randomized Luigi's Challenge, and they say it was amazing. <laughs> it, it sounds amazing. Like, the poison stuff is really cool, because poison, like, obviously it's the mo most, uh, like, uh, Iron Dad stats badge setup thing. But, like, I like it. It makes poison something cool. And Paper Mario's like, you, you get poisoned maybe once or twice in the game. There's so many items that heal poison. 
So those work well. Um, the do nothing stuff is kinda cool. The status relay is clever. Um, yeah, that might be interesting. Then, did I miss him? Either way, the big ones, like favorite one, is, is amazing. As a badge concept, yeah. I think. That would work so well in Paper Mario. Like, it's a partner badge, and when Mario <laughs> takes damage, they get a charge. It's so fun. Audience cannon, 10 charges! Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be like it works in this game, but it would still... Oh. Also, I did some, some random badge testing, and I figured out if you use Life Stealer and Life Cast, Life Stealer heals less HP than it would if you yeah. didn't have Life Cast equipped. Oh, I understand okay. why, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> Just have me have broken stuff. And Hard Charge is pretty cool. There's a, there's a decent amount of HP manipulation. The only thing that's missing is, like, a point swap, I feel like. That would have been dope. Maybe even in a move, like I said. Like, it's a badge equip, and then that member is able to switch TP, it's uh, mm -hmm. their TP and HP. So, yeah. Well, actually, I can describe the strat we used for the final boss. It's I described it in the video as well as the most vanilla RPG setup you can have. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was a very vanilla. Like, every character had a super specific, very RPG-centered role. And that's all they did for the entire battle. So, yes. I think we can end this. Anything to add, Lent? J Jar? No. Nope. If you don't, haven't played Bug Tables, and anyone in the chat can play it. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, also don't give up on it, because I, I do yeah. feel like it starts pretty slow. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> oh. The Star New File with Push Rock as the name. We'll find that code when it happens, I guess. <laughs> I, I highly recommend you do that. On, in the playthrough. Okay. We'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll check out a bunch of stuff. Like, yeah, definitely don't give up on... If you try Bug Fables, I, I agree. It started getting good... Mm, I want to say around... Well, when did I really, really start getting into it? I think post-chapter 2. I think yeah. once I, think I got favorite one, one and I, I beat the the uh, the devourer with that, I was like, yo, there's gonna be some great stuff in this game. Mm. And then yeah, you get... like ch chapter one is like, yeah, okay. Chapter two is like, yeah, it's pretty fun. Mm. And everything after that is like, okay, now it's really yes, yeah. And then once you are able to experience Leaf Story. Also, Namir say says do it once. It's it's like a thirty second thing. Well, we'll do it once we figure out the when well, once we get that code from somebody. Hmm. Well, is someone is someone gonna give it to us, or maybe it's just like a code that the devs said, like yo, well, this is a code. Don't. I think all codes are available in game. I, yeah, I, I I don't know. Yeah, you don't have to see them to unlock them. You can just do them. Yeah, I know, but, but like the, you, you can figure them out by just playing. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. That is what we'll do. Yeah. Good B.I. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. I should say something as V. I'm a B.
I can't get to the stream, help. I can't end the stream. Uh -oh. Don't worry, fat guy, <laughs> you can do it. The never ending Hey, who's stream. fat guy? Uh-oh, they're breaking the fourth wall.